Hi everybody, Fernando Silva here with 9to5Mac. What I wanted to do today in this video is talk about all the different ways that we can troubleshoot our iPhone by restarting, by going into recovery mode, by going into DFU mode, and then also playing with some settings in that turn off screen. Because whenever we do have an issue with our new iPhones, with iOS 16 especially, with these new rollouts that are happening, and all these new features, if something does freeze up, these are the three main ways you can actually get back to your iPhone and make sure that it starts working again. So without further ado, let's talk about how to get your iOS 16 iPhone, whether it's the 14, the 13, the 12, or any of the supported iPhones, into either recovery mode, force restart, or that DFU mode. Let's talk about it. So let's get started with this video, everybody. Like I mentioned, we're gonna start basic with simply how to power off the actual iPhone 14 Pro Max. And that's what we're using right now, as you can see, with the dynamic island right there. So just to turn it off, it's very simple. You just hold either the volume up or the volume down. It works either way, but hold it at the same time as you hold the actual lock slash power button. And there you go. All you have to do is slide to power off the device. And there you have it, the device is powered off. And then to power it on, you have multiple options. You can hold the power button itself and hold it until the actual Apple icon shows up. And there it is. But you can also, when it is turned off, you can plug it in directly with a lightning cable to start the power on process and then similarly you can actually do it with a wireless charger so if it is powered off and you slap it on a wireless charger or a magsafe charger it should turn on the device itself so there you have it we're turned on so there's actually one more way to turn this thing off so if you go into your settings you go into general down here you scroll all the way down you can actually press shut down right here and actually slide to power it off as well so that's another option if you do want to turn it off and then as you saw, if you do go into the power down screen, so if you hold these buttons again, go to the power off section, you notice that if I press cancel, Face ID actually does not work. So this is the way they actually disable Face ID at least once. So if you type in your passcode, you go in there, then you lock it again, try to Face ID, and then you can see that Face ID is reactivated. So again, if you wanna disable Face ID one time, just go back into your power off mode, press cancel and then face ID is disabled and nobody can get into it unless they know the passcode now. Another thing you might have noticed in that power off screen is if you long press again, go into your power off screen and then you see right here that iPhone is findable after power off. So in iOS 15 actually we got an update because a lot of people whenever their phone would get stolen people would immediately turn it off so they wouldn't be findable in Find My. So now if you turn it off by default, you can still actually find your phone when powered off to a certain extent. It won't last forever, obviously, but it still uses some battery in the background in order to get that done. But to power it off, if you do want to disable it for some reason, you just tap right here where it says power off. You can temporarily turn off finding. So iPhone remains findable after power off. You press that, you put in your passcode, and then you quickly shut it off. And then right then and there, that means that even though you turned off your iPhone, it is now not findable through Find My. So let's continue on with that actual turn off screen. So let's go back to it again. And then you can see the emergency call SOS. So this is again, very self-explanatory. Just be forewarned that if you do swipe this, it will contact your emergency services. So please do not play with this because A, if you do use it and you don't actually need it, it's taking away from somebody that does. And B, it'll probably cost you a fair amount of money after the fact. So again, if you swipe that, it's gonna contact emergency services and there's multiple ways to actually access that. So another way to actually get this activated is if you turn off the phone or go into the turn off mode, and if you continue hold it you can see that it's counting down because I'm holding it but make sure to let go before that actually happens as you can see we got pretty close there and then another way to activate it which I normally power off is because I've actually almost turned it on multiple times especially when I'm trying to put the volume up and down but if you go into your settings and go to emergency SOS you can actually call your emergency services with just five presses of the hold button so rapidly pressing the side button five times starts a countdown and sounds an alert when the countdown ends, iPhone call emergency services. So literally, if you turn this on and you tap it five times, and I've done this before by accident, you know, I reach into my pocket at the gym and think to myself, I'm trying to put the volume up, so I press it multiple times, and I accidentally call emergency services, which is not a good look, but again, you can turn it on by default if you wanna sneakily call it if you're in a situation where you need to do that. So that's a beautiful thing to have. Okay, so now let's get into the more in-depth ways to actually turn off this device because it could be needed if you are in a situation where your screen freezes up, it's being unresponsive, and normally the first one that I'm gonna show you is as far as I normally have to go, if something does happen where I need to actually restart the device and the buttons and the actual screen isn't responding. So all you have to do for a force restart, again, the normal way to turn it off is just by pressing those two buttons and then it goes into the turn off screen. But the force restart, it's actually very, very simple. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna perform a little bit of finger gymnastics here, is you're gonna press up, down, and then hold down on the power button for 10 seconds. Continue to hold it down even when you see this screen. And eventually it should turn off the phone and we should be good to go in situations where the phone completely needs to be force restarted. And if you continue to hold it, 
the actual Apple logo should pop up. You can let go now. And then voila, we did just force restart it, which again, those buttons will still work even if your phone is a little bit unresponsive and I highly recommend testing it out. If you are in a situation where things aren't working, this is the ultimate troubleshooting, at least from a basic standpoint. And then you can see we put in our passcode and we're right back into our phone, which is great to have. Okay, so this next troubleshooting mode is actually called recovery mode. And for recovery mode, you will need a Mac or a PC and then also a lightning cable to plug into that actual PC itself. And again, you probably won't be in a situation where you do need to do this, but if you do, these are situations where your phone is freezing up and the force restart doesn't work and you have to go into recovery mode. So to do that, it's actually very simple. Let's actually plug in the iPhone itself first. And then when this pops up, make sure to press trust in order for this to happen. You're gonna type in your passcode. So now we're all good to go. We're plugged in, we're charging, and we have the computer trusted. So the way to get into recovery mode is actually very simple. So we're gonna do the same action that we did when we actually wanted to force restart. So we're gonna go volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button and then continue to hold it until you actually get to the Apple logo. But then even after that, continue to hold the button because we're gonna go into actually recovery mode and we should get a new glyph where it's a computer and a cable to get plugged in. So continue to hold it and then voila, we are now in recovery mode. So now that we're in recovery mode, you can see the iPhone is plugged in and then on the computer itself, it'll recognize that you are in recovery mode and it'll say a software update is required to connect your iOS device. Would you like to download and install the software? So update now, install, learn more. And then from there, you're either able to update the device or restore the device. So now that we know how to get into recovery mode, it's actually very simple to get out of it if you don't need to be in it anymore. All you have to do is when it's in this screen, just press and hold the side button or the lock button and it should just come up real quick. So just hold it until it actually recovers itself and goes back to normal. And then as you can see, there's the Apple logo and we should go back right to our iPhone 14 Pro Max with no issues and no data loss. Again, just a way to go back to the actual iPhone itself. And then voila, there we are. And then the very last feature I do want to show off is how to get your phone into DFU mode. So DFU mode stands for device firmware update. And it's kind of like the last form of recovery that you can get into before actually needing to replace the actual phone itself. So DFU mode is used purely to restore your iPhone back to factory settings in a very detrimental situation where it does not respond at all, where nothing is happening, where things just seem to be broken. But to get in DFU mode again, it's going to be similar to actually recovery mode, but with a little bit more finger gymnastics and you have to memorize kind of the order of operations to get into DFU mode. So again, you want to connect yourself to a Mac via lightning cable, make sure you're all good to go. And then the way you're going to do this is you're going to go up and down on the volume buttons, then press and hold the side button for 10 seconds, and then press and hold the volume down button after that for five seconds, and then release the side button, and then the screen should go black. And if it goes black, that means we did it correctly and we're good to go, and it'll show up on your Mac in a certain way. So let's give DFU mode a try. So all you have to do, like I said, is we're gonna press up and down and then press the hold button for about 10 seconds to let it do its thing. And then press and hold the side button for five seconds, let go of the hold button, continue to hold the volume down button, and the screen should stay black if we did this correctly. And then just like that, we are in DFU mode and the only option that you can do in DFU mode when plugged in is actually just completely restore the device. You cannot update the device or recover it. You have to restore it to factory settings. And then to get out of it, it's very easy. All you have to do is press up and down on the volume and then hold the power button and we should go back to the Apple logo. There's the Apple logo and then it should ideally go back to exactly where we were. And voila, there we are again, back into our home screen. And that is gonna be it everybody. So now after this video, you should know how to turn off and on your phone. You should know how to go into recovery mode, how to go into DFU mode, disable face ID, some emergency SOS features, and then also disabling Find My on when the phone is actually powered off. And all these are the best way to actually troubleshoot your iPhone because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of issues can be saved and fixed with at least one of these three methods of turning off and on your phone. Now I would say 95% of them should be okay to go with a force restart and then the rest go into DFU or recovery mode and then after that, then it's into Apple's hands and maybe something is actually wrong with the phone. But that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna watch some more content on iOS 16 and the iPhone 14 lineup of phones, click on one of these videos right here. But until next time, I'm Fernando and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.